Okay, so today we're going to take a look at how to use Excel, Microsoft Excel, in order to find the line of best fit between two sets of data as well as the correlation coefficient and the coefficient of determination. So in order to find these things, of course, you need your data. Um, and I just took some data from the internet. I'm looking at male median income and female median, median income over the last 60 or so years, in from, um, all the way back to 1953. So in order to figure out the equation of the line of best fit and the correlation coefficient, we're going to need to highlight the two columns that we're comparing. So in this case, I would like to see if male median income um, and female median income are related. So as the male median income changes, does the female and how so? All right, so I'm going to highlight both columns here. And notice I'm not highlighting the year because that is just a point of reference. It's not what I'm trying to compare. All I'm trying to compare is male income and female income. So I highlight both columns, including the headings, and I go to Insert Chart or I go to the chart tab, which I'm already on. And then I press scatter because I want a scatter diagram or a scatter graph. And the one I want is the one with no lines, the one that's just the dots. So I press that. And according to what I have here, it looks like there is definitely a correlation. It looks very strong because right here we have almost a straight line. In order to figure out exactly how strong the correlation is, I'll click, left click on the dots, and on the very same dots, I will right click. And if you have a Mac, that is probably going to be control click, and this menu will pop up. I would like to add a trend line. So I click add trend line. Now I go to options, I'm already in options, so I go to options. I want my R squared value. That's my correlation coefficient squared. It's also known as my coefficient of determination. So I'm going to check that off so I can get that value. And I'm going to check this so I can also get my equation on my chart. I want to make sure that the type of equation I'm using is linear because it's the line of best fit that I'm looking for. And when everything is all set there, then I can press OK. So right here, we have our equation of our line, y equals 0.6589x minus 2,226.8. And our correlation, or sorry, our coefficient of determination is 0.98325. This value is very close to 1, which means that our data very closely follows this line. It's a very strong correlation. And as you can see, the line has a positive slope. It's going up. And because of this, we also know that our correlation is a strong positive correlation. As the male median income increases, so does the female. Now, there's a few things we can do to beautify our graph if we need to. So right now it's pretty messy. It doesn't have an x-axis labeled. It doesn't have a y-axis labeled. And it has some random stuff over here that we don't need. And our title totally doesn't make sense either. So um, if you want to know how to clean that up, stay with me. If you just wanted this, these values, then you're free to go. All right, so let's change our heading first, our title. Um, is, let's say, male income versus female income, or the relationship between, let's do that, the relationship between male and female income over time. That's a really long title, but that's okay. Alright, 
so that is there we can now go to chart layout and we can get some axes labeled which is pretty important if you're ever going to show this to anyone you don't want to show anyone a graph that doesn't have axes labeled so let's go with our x values remember were the male median income so you want to you want that to be reflected in your axes so male median income from 1953 that's too long so let's just say male median income okay and the vertical one you want to rotate it so it looks nice and neat female median income all right we don't need this here and we can move this to be more visible a B right there and there you have it that is our graph showing the relationship between male and female income over time.